Hey guys, Danny Johnson here with a channel update. Getting more thunderstorms every once in a while and it was really cool, but check out this rainbow. This was complete side to side. I hadn't seen this for quite a while and uh, it came out really nice. Here, stand here, and I'm going to get a picture of Char and you. And just walking around in the neighborhood, I saw this cool 35th anniversary GT with Terminator wheels, uh, reproduction ones. Been playing around with some model cars. You've probably seen some videos that I've made on the channel of ones that I've had for a while but haven't really showcased. And my big project today was uh, had to do with the grill outside. I, I really love my grill and my grill time. And I picked up this one that was damaged, so I bought it basically just as parts. So it was really hot. I made sure to have a lot of water and just had a nice relaxing project today just nice and easy and so i was cutting things out and so basically what i was going to do with this grill is um, use it as a cart just to put next to my grill so like an extra table because whenever i'm you know grilling uh, you know there's not a lot of room to move around so when i bring a tray of food out and all the other things it's going to be really helpful to have a tray next to it so here's what i did and you can tell this came from the inside of the grill you can see where it was all ruffled but i just drew a line on it and cut this so it says weber because it's the heat shield on the inside so it's kind of cool took some uh, tin snips uh, cut it and i also cut in little sections which made it really easy to fold as i was trimming it and it turned out really nice so just kind of cut this up and assembled the rest of the grill so this is what it looks like still want to get a you know some plywood that goes under it to give make it a little more sturdy but uh, as you can see this is the back side of uh, the grill cover that was damaged so just pulled that uh, little sheet metal from it and made a nice little table so i'm excited to see how this works out in the end uh, just to help with food preparation and bring stuff out and so i thought it was cool that it says uh, weber on it and uh, it almost looks like uh, something that was made for it so I thought it was really cool for something that was just going to be thrown away. It had a lot of good parts, and I even got a lot of you know backup parts now, like regulators and knobs and everything uh, for the grill. So really excited to keep the grilling up and have a little more space uh, to do all that. Because even when I open the hood like this, I kind of get some grease splatter every once in a while on what I'm drinking here and, and all that. So more space is always better. But you can see this is the heat shield here that's now that cover. As I was uh, driving home, I saw a new McDonald's was open, so I was excited about that. And I stopped in, and I thought it was really nice on the inside. Uh, however, it's a lot different than they used to be. I think they're focusing a lot more now on just drive through service. And so if you look over, there's no place to refill your drinks, just the uh, ketchup dispenser. So anyway, they made some other improvements I thought was a good idea, like putting the kiosk near the front doors, um, not over by where you would order food, so it'll help with the bottleneck there. Otherwise, just playing around with some more pet gourd. I'm obsessed with that, as you know, and just driving the cars around as I can. So thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the weather can start cooling down soon. We can sure use a drop in temperature.